In this video, I'll tell you how to get started with the Autocoder service. We'll find out why the Autocoder service is needed, as well as create an account on the site autocoder.io and create our first project. Create a WordPress post type and an interface for managing it in the WordPress admin console. Learn how to generate and install a WordPress plugin created by the Autocoder service and Add records of our created post type and see how to use the Autocoder created interfaces. Autocoder is a web service that allows you to create functionality for your WordPress site without programming. By using the Autocoder service, you can create structures inside WordPress such as post types, fields for data, forms for user interaction and administrative interface for managing all of these features. Autocoder is integrated with the Elementor Visual Page Builder. This means that you can create a functional website on WordPress without writing code and attracting developers completely in visual mode. In order to start working with Autocoder, you need to go to autocoder.io and create an account there. In order to create an account, you need to enter any username, specify an email, create a password, confirm your password and press the sign up button. I've already created an account so I'll go there right away. Work in the Autocoder service begins with creating a project. For each site on WordPress we create a separate project in which we will add functionality. For each of the projects one plugin will be generated which can be installed on our WordPress website so that the functionality that we specified in the Autocoder appears on it. In order to create a project, you need to click the Create Project button and fill in three required fields Plugin Name, Project Name and Plugin Prefix. For example, we are creating a website on which we will post information about various conferences and events. Call it our Plugin Event Underscore Portal. The name of the plugin is the name that will be used in the program code for the name of the plugin that will be created. The project name is the name that will be used in the Autocoder user interface to identify the project. The plugin prefix are four arbitrary letters that will be automatically added to all function names in the plugin code so that we do not have conflicts with the function names of other plugins or of WordPress itself. We can insert the arbitrary four letters into the prefix, but people usually use letters that are consistent with the name of the plugin so that when debugging and reading the plugin code, the developers can immediately understand that these functions relate to this particular plugin. Click the Add Project button. We have created a project and we immediately find ourselves on the project page. In order to go to the project page, we can find the name of our project in the menu and click on it. First we need to create a post type. Post type is a logical structure inside WordPress that allows us to save various information objects with their data. For example, in WordPress there is a page post type for creating pages. In WooCommerce there is a product post type for creating a product catalogue and there is an order post type for saving users orders. Since we want to display various events on our website we will create an event post type in order to manage these events. In the Autocoder service, the post type is a component. All components related to the project can be seen on the left side of the project screen. Components always have two required fields, component name and component label. The name of the component is used to name the classes and functions in the program code of the created plugin. Therefore, there are special requirements for the name of the component. The name should contain only letters of the Latin alphabet and should not contain spaces. We create a post type for event management, so we'll set the name of the post type to events. Label is how the component will be called in the autocoder interface and in the WordPress admin console. A label can contain arbitrary characters and spaces. Specify a label the same as the name events. Click Add Post Type. After creating a post type, we can add properties for the post type. For example, the event post type may have the following properties. Event title, 
event date, short description, event announcement, detailed description of the event, and images associated with this event. Properties of the post type can have arbitrary names consisting of Latin characters and underscores, but there are a number of names that allow you to store data in the standard properties that each type of WordPress post has without creating additional properties. This allows, among other things, to use the standard interface in the WordPress admin console to manage the values of these properties. Standard property names can be selected from the drop-down list of names. For example, you want to use the standard WordPress title for the events post type for the headline of our events. To do this, you can select the standard property name post underscore title. Save the property. We also add the content property to store a detailed description of the event. We use the standard name post underscore content. For a brief description of the event, use the standard name post underscore excerpt. Let's set the properties that we created, the talking labels. For the name of the event, indicate the label event name. For a detailed description of event description. For a brief description, short description. Now, let's add some property with an arbitrary name. For example, let's add event image and call it event underscore image. This name is not standard and it means that we will create a custom field associated with our post type events. Specify the type of property, image. Add one more custom property for our post type, the date of the event. Specify the name, event underscore date, and set the type of property to date time. Save. So, we've made five fields for our event's post type. In order to manage posts of this type of post in the WordPress admin console, we create an admin list component. We have to set the post type whose data will be displayed in the admin list and save it. Now we can add columns for our admin list. To get started, let's add two columns. Title. The title will be a link to the post editing form. To do this, check this box link to admin form. Add another column, a brief description. There will be no links from this column, so we will not set any flags. Now. Add the admin form component. This will be the form in the WordPress admin console with which we can edit our events. Specify events post type and add our admin form. And now we can add fields to our admin form. An important point should be noted here. Fields on forms in Autocoder are grouped into groups. There is the main form fields group, which is created automatically when the admin form is created. We place fields with standard names in this group if we want to use standard WordPress controls to manage them. For example, we see fields with the standard names post underscore title and post underscore content which are automatically added to the admin form when they are created. Create an additional custom fields group to place custom fields. In the main form fields group, we should specify only fields with standard names. Fields with custom names will be ignored and will not be displayed on the admin form. Add custom fields to the form, which will be connected to properties of the event's post type that we created earlier. Create a short description field, for which we specify the name post underscore excerpt. In label, write short description. We select for this field the rich text control, an advanced text editor. Add an image field named event underscore image. Note that the image control automatically selected image control. Add the date of the event. The date control is automatically selected. A control is that element on the form with which you can manage the value of this field. That's all. We've made all our components and fields that we need and now, in order to get the plugin with our functionality, we need to click generate and download plugin. We have generated and downloaded the plugin. Now we can upload it to our WordPress website. On our website we go into plugin management and click the add new button. Next click upload plugin. Select the plugin file that the autocoder service generated for us. Click install now. 
Our plugin has been loaded. Click Activate. Our plugin has been activated. Now we can see that in the menu of the WordPress Admin Console, there are our events that we created in the Autocoder service. If we click on Events link, we get to the admin list that we created. We can see in the admin list two columns, the same as we created in the Autocoder service. Here is our admin list that we created in Autocoder. If we look at it, we can see the very two fields that we added to it, title and short description. We see that we have a short description in the list called excerpt. And I don't like this name. Let's change the label of this column to short description. Click generate plugin. The plugin was regenerated. Let's go over the plugin management. Click update now here. The plugin has been updated. Again, we go to our list of events and see the heading of the short description column changed to short description. Let's add some events now. To do this, go to the add form. This is our admin form that we created in Autocoder. We can see the fields that we added to the admin form. Title field, content field. Let's look again at these fields in the Autocoder service. Go to our admin form and here we see the fields. Title, post content. These two fields are with standard names. Next is the custom fields group, which includes the short description field. This is the field on our website. This is the field in which we selected control the advanced editor, rich text. Let's try changing the control type, rich text, to a simple string. In order to transfer the changes, we regenerate the plugin again and update it again on our website. And now we can see that the appearance of the short description field control has changed. Instead of a text editor that allows you to manage the appearance of the text, a regular editing field has appeared. This control is called string. Also in the form, we can edit event image. And here we can see the event date field. Let's try to add an event. Suppose we want to hold a developer conference. For a detailed description, the standard WordPress editor Gutenberg is used in which you can fill pages with content in a visual mode. That is, we can insert text blocks, images into our page, select page layout for placing elements. For example, we break our content into two columns, add a picture from the media library to the left column, enter some text in the right column. That is, using a standard field name allows us to use all the features of the standard Gutenberg editor to manage the content of fields of the post type. Fill in the other fields. Short description. Choose a picture from the media library. Indicate the date of the event. Now we can save our changes. Now in the list of our events, we can see our conference, which we just added. We see the name of the conference and a short description that we added. We can go on editing this event. We see that all of our data that you filled is preserved. And now we suddenly decided to add a field. We want to add the archive flag so that we can mark those conferences that are not relevant. To do this, we again go to the post type event that we created and add a new property there. Give this property the name is underscore archive and set the type of the property to boolean. A boolean type that fits our flag well, since it can only have two values, true and false. Add our flag to the admin form so that we can edit it. Let's go to our custom fields group and add the is underscore archive field. We also add a column to the admin list so that we can see the value of this property in the list of events. We also indicate the display order of the column. Make column second in display order. We regenerate the plugin. Update plugin on WordPress site. We'll go to the list of events. Click edit and go to the edit page of our conference. We can see that in the edit form, there is a checkbox that we can use to set our flag. Check the box and save the changes. Now in the list, we can see this flag and its value is on. Please note that the field order is the same as the field order that we set when editing the form in the Autocoder service. We can change the order of the fields. Let's put the column with the flag in third place. Once again, 
we regenerate and reinstall the plugin to display the changes. And then, going to the list of events, we see our flag in third place. So, we briefly figured out the following. What is an autocoder service? How do we create post types, admin forms and admin lists? How to install and update the plugin? How to manage posts of our new post type? In the next lesson, I'll show you how we can display our created post types on WordPress site pages using the Elementor Page Builder.